Hopefully you enjoyed the videos documenting the engineering change we did to our carving knife. And we did all those changes using tools all available inside the 3D Experience platform. Let's summarize what we went through with the carving knife. Well, here's our project plan. We started out, Tracy created a project plan and assigned tasks to each of the different engineers in the project. As you can see here, all the tasks are gray, meaning we've completed our project and all the tasks are done. Uh, this was a good way to track what was on schedule, what was behind schedule, and what took the most amount of time and resources to complete. Next, I used the 3D Product Architect to lay out the design inside of the 3D Experience platform. I was able to lay out the parts that I wanted to do. I was able to add existing components and I was able to orient those, uh, preparing the model for the design phase. After that, Wayne and Sarah did a good job with 3D Experience SolidWorks and XShape, creating a new handle design and then bringing that into SolidWorks and adding some manufacturing features. Wayne also used 3D Experience SolidWorks to create the mold design when these products were done. We can see having SolidWorks connected to the 3D Experience platform opens up a lot of opportunities for uh, use of other products. From there, we were able to drop the model in a 3D drive, send it up to Dennis where he could preview it, and then download it, put it in the slicer software, and print a few prototypes on our Stratasys F170 printer. The prototypes look great, so we went on to the next phase, which was to run a few design studies on the parts. Suman did a drop test analysis to make sure that the, the carving knife wouldn't shatter under a drop test. And I ran a mold fill analysis using Plastic Injection Engineer to make sure the mold would fill, there wouldn't be any short shots, and the sink marks would be within our design limits. After we used the analysis tools to verify our design, Wayne created the tooling splits and then passed them on to Paul, where he used Shop Floor Programmer to create full three-axis machine tool paths and then a full machine simulation inside of the tools in the 3D Experience platform. So as you can see, all the tools we used are available inside the 3D Experience platform and we were able to do an entire design change from start to finish. If you liked following this project, join us in our next one, where we'll be taking this circular saw, completing the design, and documenting it, all in tools that are available inside of a web browser. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the next one.